If you've ever had to build a drop down menu into a component in Figma, you've probably experienced the challenge of where you're demonstrating the drop down menu in your prototype. And as you move your cursor over the drop down menu, the menu disappears. There's a number of different ways to build drop down menus in Figma. And I'm going to show you a couple of different ways here, as well as the best way that I found to build a drop down menu. Let's take a look at the demonstration first. In this scenario, we have a basic form and we have a menu with a drop down. When I hover over the button, the drop down menu appears, and this works really well. This is built with a component that has a state with the button where the drop down menu is built into the component. You'll notice that I can slowly move from the button to the drop down menu and nothing happens. It doesn't disappear, which is perfect. The trouble with this is if we have a secondary button next to this primary button, we run into troubles. So let's take a look at that scenario. Here, we have the same exact button component and it has the drop down menu state that I can activate on hover. And I also now have this cancel button. The trouble is, as I hover into this button, this drop down menu is taking up space. And because these buttons are placed into an auto layout, when this menu appears, it's pushing the cancel button over to the left. So you can see there the cancel button's moving and that's not what should be happening. So the third way we could tackle this problem is by creating an overlay where the drop down menu is not part of the button component, but instead when I hover over the button, it appears as an overlay like this. Now the trouble with this is that the space between the button and the drop down menu is a gap. And when I move my cursor from the button down to the drop down menu, I've now left the hover trigger and the menu is no longer appearing. I have this, this drop down menu appearing on hover of the button. So on hover of this button, show this drop down menu. And I could snug the gap up between the button and the drop down menu and solve this problem in an okay way. I could also move my cursor really fast before Figma has a chance to hide the drop down menu. But the challenge here is that my target is hovered. And while hovering this target, the drop down menu appears. And when I leave that hover target, the drop down menu disappears. So the best way I've found to solve this problem is to build some transparent space into the top of your drop down menu so that when I hover over this button and my drop down menu appears as an overlay, even with a bigger gap, as I move my cursor slowly from the button to the drop down menu, the drop down remains. The way I've accomplished this is to build in a transparent part on top of this drop down menu. So it doesn't look like there's anything here, but I'm actually hovering over the drop down menu right now. And so this has been the best way I've found to solve this problem. And we'll just take a quick look at how this is built in the design view. Here's the first scenario with our, our drop down button. And what I'm doing, this is by no means the most efficient way, but what I'm doing is on hover of this button, I'm moving over to this frame and this frame is showing the drop down menu and that worked as you saw in the first demo. It became a problem when we use that same approach and there's a second button. And this is where this is a component with the drop down built into it. So I can toggle this off and on here in the component, but you'll see that the cancel button there is moving. So that's not ideal. In this solution, we're using a overlay action. So as I hover over the button, it's going to move this drop down menu overlay manually beneath the button. And this is that illustration that, or the demo that we did before where this gap is allowing this drop down menu to disappear. So the, the best solution that I found for making this work with the least amount of fuss is to create a specific drop down menu and to put some transparent space 
above the drop down menu. In this case, I just have a trigger area and I've set this to be transparent. And when it's positioned on the button, you'll see that the drop down menu transparent area is covering the button. And that allows me to hover off of the trigger and onto the menu without the threat of losing the drop down. I'm sure you've seen this before. If you have a solution that you prefer, let me know what you think down in the comments of a better way to do this. I hadn't seen anybody share this type of approach to making drop down menus work. And I think this is the approach that I'll be taking moving forward.